I'll wait for Lily Bryan. I'll meet her by the door. I'll take her home. I'm not even going to tell anybody about you till Monday. It's not as if anybody would even... She gets back from a holiday next week. And when she does, I'll take her up to my sister's place in the lakes. I'll tell them both. One after the other, maybe. And then, well, it'd be time to face the music, Brian. I always said, if this ever happened to me, I wouldn't let them. I wouldn't do it to Lily. I wouldn't do it to anyone. I always said, being a brain-dead vegetable is no kind of life, so just pull that plug. What use would I be to Lily then, Brian? No. When your time in this world's up. She's got a whole life ahead of her. She's going to get everything. Even the money from this bloody business that I helped build. No. She can make her own way, like I did. No, you didn't, Brian. No, you bloody didn't. I worked day and night for years. There were times when Lily spent day after day at my mother's house because I was up and down this country organising your work. I wasn't the one going to the parties. I wasn't the one having the affairs. It were me and Lily that made all the sacrifices, not you. And you said it was for her. It was never, ever for anyone else other than yourself, Brian. I hated you. I hated how selfish you'd become. When I left you, it was to get away from you, yeah, but more than that, it was to make sure Lily didn't end up like me. Didn't end up your maid, your bloody nurse and mother. And then I come round here and the bloody ironing board set up waiting for her. No. This time next year, I'll be gone and she can start to heal. There's no way I'm going to leave her with you. So I'm just going to go and wait and meet her by the door.